Hello, everybody. My name is Chris Millar, and welcome to my ePortfolio. I am majoring in marketing and have a minor in computer information systems, and I graduate this December of 2022, so just in a few months here, and I'm very excited. Um, so just to give you a gist of what this video is going to be about, I'm just going to be telling you guys about myself, my experience at Appalachian State, a little background on myself as well, and just express some of the people that have helped me out along the way at App State. And I will also dive into some of the uh, displays and some of the documents and presentations that I have linked in the top right corner of this website. So just to start it off, I'm going to tell you a little bit about myself. Uh, my name, like I said earlier, is Chris Millar. I'm from Chapel Hill, North Carolina. Big Tar Heel fan, but obviously got converted to an Appalachian State Mountaineer very quickly. I grew up in a very large family or mediocre family, I guess you could say. I have a older brother who graduated from Chapel Hill. Uh, he was 25. I have a twin sister, actually. Unfortunately, she didn't go to App State. So uh, we had a tough time not seeing each other as much as we'd like to, but we got through it and are still super close. I also have a younger brother named Will Millar, and then I have two loving parents uh, as well. So moving on from more about me, um, I'm going to go on to a little bit about my time at Appalachian State. So to start it off, I've loved my experience at Appalachian State and specifically at the College of Business, but there were a lot of other things that enriched, made my time more enriching, and I learned more when I was at Appalachian State. And those, there are three of these categories. Um, the first one is that I joined a fraternity. I feel like this is probably the least impactful one in terms of me building my resume and you know trying to show myself off to you guys. However, I did uh, take on some executive roles within the fraternity, and I did meet a lot of my friends at App State that helped me get through my, my harder times here. Secondly, I did an internship at Wine to Water, which is a local nonprofit located in Boone, North Carolina, that uh, essentially just tries to provide clean water and sanitation. Um, this internship was very impactful in my college experience. I actually did it for two semesters and returned for a second semester and led a group of interns. But I would say it was very important for me because not only did I learn a ton of valuable skills that actually correlated to things I was learning in the classroom, but I also uh, gained a professional side to me and I actually used that to apply for a job um, that I received. And I will get into that in a little more time here. So uh, third and finally is the hockey team. I was actually part of the men's ice hockey team at Appalachian State. I was the captain and vice president and um, really turned the program around uh, after when I came. I spent my whole life playing hockey and dedicated a lot of my time here at App playing hockey. So those were just some of the things and experiences I had outside of the classroom before I dive into this in-classroom um, concept and everything that I learned in the classroom. And I just thought that was important for you to know and just to better understand who I am as a person. Um, going to some more of my actual assignments that you will see on here, um, the first of which is a final presentation I did for a marketing class. Um, thought it was a great project. You can go look at it and dive more into it if you would like to. The second one was a English paper that I wrote um, in regards to the second goal. The third one was an Appalachian history final paper that I wrote that deals with ethics and just a lot about the area of the Appalachian region. Fourth is the E&J Gallo Leadership Board presentation, which I urge you to go look at if you want to learn a little bit more about my experiences with the hockey team in Wind Water and how I actually landed a job um, when I graduate starting in January. And then my fifth and final one is actually another website that I made. So it's funny how you're on a website and I'm sending you to another website. But um, it's a website I made where I plan to study abroad trip and it really gave me a sense of internationalization um, within the business world. And I thought people would really just enjoy it. And there's also a lot of more content on that website of me, if you would like to go and do that. Um, finally, just to wrap this video up, um, I would just like to say thank you. I don't have anyone specific I'd like to thank, but I would just like to thank Appalachian State for giving me this opportunity to do all these things that I talked about in this video already and really just thrive in a new environment that was outside of Chapel Hill, North Carolina. Um, and just all my professors, they were great. Um, genuinely some great people. Harvey Simons, one that jumps out to the top of my head. He's actually the class that I submitted my paper for, for or the project for, that's my goal one that you will see um, in the top right corner of this page. And um, also my advisors, they were all super great to me. Um, the people who I interned with were all super great to me. 
And even my capstone professor was very great as well. So I really hope you enjoy going through this page and can learn a little bit more about me. Um, I'll leave some contact information at the bottom of the first page if anyone who goes through this would like to contact me after looking through my portfolio. I'm always open to new opportunities, even though I'm starting a job here. But yet again, just thanks to Appalachian State. Thanks to all my professors. Thanks to my advisors. Thanks to my family and friends for supporting me throughout the entire time. And um, I really hope you enjoy this. Thanks so much. Bye.